Hi everyone, my name is Emily Roberts. I am a blogger and therapist for HealthyPlace.com and today I'm going to be talking with you about self-esteem and National Mental Health Awareness Month. Today kicks off National Mental Health Awareness Month, which is here for us to discuss the stigma behind mental health. It affects one in four Americans every year. Chances are that's you, someone you know, someone you love, or someone you work with. And I want to bring this up because it really affects self-esteem as well. If you have low or negative self-esteem, or did as a child, chances are that you might have a mental health condition. And that's not something to be overlooked. In fact, very normal these days. Healthy Place is a really good opportunity for you to look up resources, look up uh, people to help you with these disorders. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is how these develop. It doesn't necessarily mean that just because of your genetics, just because of your trauma, just because of something you endured in life means you're going to have low self-esteem. But what it does mean is we need to take into account these experiences. We need to take on these early belief systems that we had about ourselves. Most people I've talked to, in fact, almost every single client I've talked to, at a certain level when they were young, four, five, six years old, started to believe that they weren't good enough or that they didn't have the esteem they could have in order to get through the circumstances that life threw at them. I used to work in an eating disorder clinic, and one of the most fascinating experiences I had was running a group on self-esteem and assertiveness. When I asked all the patients when these negative beliefs about themselves began, they all said, five, six, seven, I didn't feel good at math, I didn't feel good at this, I started to tell myself I wasn't good enough. So I really want us to remember that if we're working with kids or if we have a mental health condition, that it's very important to look back at those experiences and see how we can either rewrite the script or that we can help these kids who are clearly now currently suffering with these negative views of themselves. I run an empowerment hour at one of the local high, local elementary schools here where we discuss coping skills mechanisms and we discuss um, how to feel good about you. And this starts at five, six, seven, and eight years old. It's such a remarkable program. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because I really believe that doing these programs and helping young ones at an early age develop a healthy sense of self um, can keep us from having more mental disorders and more mental health conditions in the future. So I wanted to share that with you and I really hope this brings some awareness and new light to anything you or a loved one is suffering with. Please let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Take good care.